Where did you go, paper dolls? Where did you go? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday, happy vlog day, happy sale preview day, and also haul day because yesterday was my one of my shop with me videos. I have another one coming out very soon this week. And um, today I'm going to show you the things that I got from that video. So this morning I'm just sitting out on the back patio having a cup of coffee, getting ready to head on over to the shop. Now today is going to be a little bit different of a day for me because I'm going to the shop first and then I have a hair appointment at 10 and then I'll be going back to the shop and finishing up for the day. So it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of vlog, sort of, kind of, but not really. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's get started with our day today. Before I head on out, I wanted to go ahead and show you these little cuties that uh, f my friend Cindy has sent me. They're so cute, these little girls, little babies. So I have them sitting up here. And I also got sent this cute little Prixie planter. He is made in Japan. Oh, I'm sorry, he's made in occupied Japan. That makes him even better. I need to put a air plant in him. And then my friend Kathy sent me this cute little bear. I think it's supposed to be a panda bear. Because either that or this is a bear that has had a wild night and hasn't taken off her uh, mascara. And she's she's a little um, next day mascara bear. But I have them sitting up there on my little buffet. I also wanted to show this picture here that my friend Corey has painted for me of Lake Michigan. So this means a lot to me, and I've actually ordered another piece of her artwork, but I have it sitting right next to my little Grand Hotel vintage postcard, so I think it's perfect together. So thank you, Corey. I've also been gathering some things that is going to be for sale Thursday night, the trusty Huckster Mercantile, we're having a four-way sale. So these are some of the things that I'm going to be selling Thursday night. We have this, what I believe to be a Rio Hondo deer planter. Uh, that's going to be available. Some lusterware set. This really cool boat, the Peggy Jane, little lithograph metal toy boat. I have some vin vintage tablecloths. This one has pine cones on it, and like a teal color, and this one has red roses all on it. And I have a bicentennial milk glass piece. I think it's made by Federal Glass. And now this is a reproduction jadeite butter dish. So that will be available. And this beautiful piece of Hager. Now, I, it, this one does have the original sticker on the front. So these are just some of the things. I am picking a few more. But these are just some of the things that will be available this Thursday night. Trusty Huckster Mercantile on his channel. There's going to be four of us having a live sale, so you have to make sure that you subscribe to his channel and check out that sale. I also wanted to show this really fun and really pretty piece of art that I ordered off of my friend Corey, the thrifted artist. She has live sales every week, and she does feature some of her artwork. And guys, I paid $20 for this really fun, crazy-haired chicken. I love it. I love the colors, and so... I am going to, right now he's just leaning up against my little bar cart, but I am going to hang him right there above my little bar cart. So, I love him. Thank you, Corey. You did a great job. All right, so we are on our way to the shop right now. It is, well, I don't know what time it is because the clock is wrong in my car, so I don't know what time it is. <laughs> it's probably... 7:30 ish let's say um i am i have what i'm gonna do first when i get there is i'm gonna pack up my ebay orders that's gonna be the first thing that's usually what i do every time i get to the shop is i get those ebay orders um shipped ready to be shipped out first then i'm going to start 
pulling things for my live sale tomorrow. I'm also, I also need to start pulling some things that I'm going to be showing Friday night in my Friday night eBay preview auction video. I don't know what to call it eBay. It's basically, it's the things that I'm going to show that will be available as an auction on, in my eBay store. And I think I'm going to do 10 things and they're not going to be salt and pepper shakers. They're going to be other things besides salt and pepper shakers. So uh, I'm right now I'm thinking I'm going to do 10 because I still have to take the pictures for them and write the drafts and get the descriptions ready and all that. And that takes, that takes a little bit of time as well as making the video and editing the video and you know, all that stuff that goes along with it. I'm going to try to maybe get some of those pictures done today. I kind of know, I, well, I've set aside things that I'm going to add to that video in that auction. So I, I'm excited to take this to, you know, do it beyond salt and pepper shakers to do maybe some things that I don't know that I've had for a while and want to get listed on eBay. So it's kind of given me a little kick in the butt to be able to uh, get that done and quit, quit wasting my time. Uh, the, the, the live videos are great. I love having my live sales, but it literally takes a, a, the, an entire day from about eight o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the afternoon to get everything invoiced and packed. And that's with Emma helping me. When Emma goes back to school and is no longer helping me, that's going to be sad. But, I mean, it's been done before. It's just a lot easier with, with her there with me because she's my little helper girl. All right, I just got to the shop, and I don't know. If you have an eBay store, you can get a coupon for shipping supplies for the month of June before the second quarter starts. So if you aren't listening to the reselling report, make sure that you do. I'll link Anne's channel for the reselling report, report below. And she gives a lot of good information that I didn't realize that, you know, news and things like that on eBay. And so this was one of the things. So you can order if you have a store subscription. I got some boxes and some tape with mine. All right, so I'm at the shop and I packaged up my packages and forgot that I was vlogging today. So it wasn't anything that exciting. It was basically um, a mouse pad that my son has sold, like an, a gamer mouse pad, a DS game, actually two DS games, or not DS games. He gets so mad at me when I say that. Switch games. So he plays them, he, got, he gets them, plays them, and then he just sells them. Okay, so it wasn't anything exciting. All right, so I have been walking around pulling some things for the sale. And I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and show you a few of the things that I have been pulling. I had shown this girl on, uh, on Instagram, this little Hawaiian doll, she or a Polynesian doll with her eyelashes and her powder blue eyeshadow. All right, and then I've got a few redware pieces. I have this donkey salt and pepper shaker. And this one is, let's say this is the black redware. I don't know. Because this is more of the brown, this brown piggy bank. You can see the difference in the colors. So the piggy bank as well. Some more bottles. I always I probably will have these bottles in about just about every video. I have some chalkware of some pears sleeping pairs. I decided to sell these. I was going to keep them, but I'm going to sell them. These little salt and pepper shakers here. I have a little Atlas, Hazel Atlas jar. Here we go. Full of these vintage clothespins. I think that those are so cool. Some more salt and pepper shakers. Another one of these vases. This I love. Look at the graphics on here of these two little boys. It does have a little bit of wear on it, but just it's and it's empty. But put that on a shelf in your kitchen. Oh, I love it. Let's see. I have a grease can. It does have the strainer on the inside. A fairy lamp. This one's going to be a clear one. This is the another Ellie Smith Stars and Bars. It's clear. It's in excellent condition. Look at this little baby. 
a little uh, Morton Pottery Bulldog or French Bulldog even. He's so cute. A baby planter. A Puda Schnuda. That's a clown, and I'm not even going to touch it right now, but it, it's a clown. I may have to use some hand sanitizer after I touch it, but it is a clown. I do have a couple little squirrel. I don't think this is a squirrel. This might be a little chipmunk. He's made in Japan, but it's just little things like this that I can't not buy. I have to buy them. This, however, is a squirrel from South Dakota. And there is the Faces of the Presidents. What is that called? Good grief, Misty. Mount Rushmore. Yes, Mount Rushmore. There's a little squirrel. Uh, let's see. And then I do have this really pretty, pretty piece of Vaseline glass. It does not glow, but it's still very pretty. It's a hand-blown piece. I am going to do these two uh, paint-by-number pieces that are fabulous of the little boy. It kind of reminds me of Huckleberry Finn, uh, but they I am going to sell them together as a set. And I will give you the option of sending them in the frames or out of the frames. Um, I'm also going to do this. Oh, here's another squirrel. This McCoy, the cookie log. And some brooches. I've got this really pretty floral brooch. This one with the amber colored stones. These are fun. The fish with the pink rhinestones. Like a little angel fish. And a parrot. With a jeweled eye. So these are fun pieces. I have a piece of Lefton, a little trinket dish, some aprons, another set of these swan candles. I have some pieces from last week that I'm still waiting to hear from the buyers, but if I don't hear from them, they're gonna be available in the sale too. Cause you know, if you, I, I, give, I give you guys a week to pay and if I don't hear from you anything from you, then, you're forfeiting your item and it will be available in the next week. It's just a policy that I have to enforce. Um, I actually, this time I had two people that I have sent emails to that haven't replied back or have paid their invoice and two that I haven't heard anything from. So such as the, the, the routine sometimes when you have a live sale and you just carry on, but just know that if I do not hear back from you, it's going to be available in the next week. All right. I've also started pulling some items that I'm going to be um, doing in my Friday night eBay auction preview. But I'm not going to show those to you. They're going to be a mystery. I'm not going to show those to you. Um, I am getting ready to leave fairly soon to go get my hair colored. So when you see me again, I will be... I'll have wet hair probably and... All these will be blonde again. So that's going to be a happy moment. When I get back from getting my hair done, I will go ahead and do the haul video of things that I bought yes, that, in the video that you saw yesterday. And some of them will be available tomorrow during the sale. Some of them not, but some of them yes. And so that's kind of exciting, right? It was a good day. And the next, the next haul video is even better. It's even more magical. All right, so... I'm going to gather my stuff and get ready to go get my hair colored. Getting our hair did is a little different than what it used to be, huh? Yeah. Well, we can still talk though. Thank God. <laughs> In the back, and I'm blonder and my hair is wet. What I'm gonna do right now is show you the haul of the things that I got on the first part of my adventure that was from the video yesterday. All right, so let me turn the camera around and I will show you what I got. All right, one of the things that I got was this really pretty gold swan. Now it has, it's yellow, it's glossed yellow on the inside and it is a pottery of some sort that has been painted with this gold. It isn't a weeping gold, so it's not textured like that, but I thought it was really pretty neat. This was a little girl that I was carrying around in the video and I'm not sure who she is made by. It might she could be left in. I thought that she was so cute. Look at her little face with her little heart mouth and her little eyelashes. I think she was supposed to be holding a umbrella or a parasol of some sort. But she's a little planter. She does have one little petal on her their little rose that's in her hair. She has one little petal missing, but I just thought she was she was cute. 
So I got her. I also picked up from that antique mall. This is a Hallmark ornament. This one isn't dated, but you can see here it is Hallmark. Maybe if it'll focus Hallmark. I collect these and I don't have this one. I, do, I say I collect these. I have several of these that I have thrifted. They kind of resemble wood or a barrel and I don't have this one. So I got that. I also picked up this Indiana plate. Now I have one exactly like this at home, but I wanted to get this one because of what's on the back of it. And on the back, it says that it was gotten at Greystone Gift Shop at Bedford, Indiana, September 24th, 1963. So this plate was bought at a gift store that was in a hotel here in Bedford called the Greystone. They have torn it down, unfortunately, but I just like that this was something that was bought from that hotel. So I'm going to swap out that one and exchange it with this one. I also picked up a set of four of these federal pink, it's a very light vintage pink color, milk glass. They are uh, painted over the milk, gl milk glass, federal glasses. I liked them a lot. I thought the color was pretty. I did get four of those. This was in the video, I believe, too. It's this cute little planter with the dog and the dog chasing the cat up the boot. It's made in Japan. And I got these. I'm not sure why. I, I don't know. They were 99 cents. For, no, they were a dollar. So they're 50 cents each. They are, I don't know. You guys know I, this isn't my jam. This isn't my thing. I don't know who makes them. Ellie Smith, Indiana Glass. To me, they kind of look like they're Indiana Glass, but I don't know. Butter pats. They're just a set of two heart-shaped little amber-colored butter pats. I did pick this guy up, and I'm keeping him because he is an occupied Japan piece. He does have a little broken spot right here where his foot or his shoe is broken off, but he's going to go to my collection. I thought he was so sweet with his little gold trim around his collar. So that's going home with me, as well as this little lamb. Now the lamb has a chipped ear, but I don't care because I love it and I love the color. So this is also going home with me to go on a shelf. I did pick up a set of four of these Sherbert glasses. Unfortunately, they do not glow, but I still think that they're really, really, really cool. And these will be available for sale. I did get two fairy lamps, both amber. This one is the Ellie Smith Stars and Bars. This one, I'm not sure who makes this one, but it is a little amber fairy lamp. I got this Redware Mama and Puppies. This will be available tomorrow in my sale. And normally when I find these, I find just the puppies and never the Big Mama. So now I got Big Mama to go with the puppies. This one is the brown Redware. And then I picked up this guy. This guy is the black red wear. Now, originally, this would have came with a girl line. Oh, there's Dad. Say hi, Dad. I'm doing oh, my vlog. <laughs> he he kind of snuck on in here. I didn't realize. But this would have had a female lion with it as well. But it just has the... Oh, Dad's showing you his clock. Well, I want you. <laughs> is that Bakelite? Or is it Bakelite? It's the type they made the old radios out of, you know, the collars and stuff. Can you feel it? Yeah, that's Bake. Well, yeah, that's Bakelite. That's nice. Wet's clocks. It's kind of deco. Yeah, food. that's really cool. I have all kinds of people wanting that, I bet. But it won't be ready yet. Maybe a next week sale. Well, I don't know if it works or not. You have well, to we'll have to plug it in and test it to see if it works. But this fella will be available on ebay this weekend so he will be available as an auction on ebay but i'm he's probably going to be you're going to see him in another video but i'm just showing him to you now and then i got this cat decanter that was in the video um that it is made in taiwan so it is vintage but i thought it was just a fun little long neck kitty cat piece and this i think is great it is hand painted in Japan, and it is of a little gazelle, or oh, I think it's a gazelle. But the colors on it are amazing. It's in excellent condition. No, no chips, no cracks on it anywhere. And I got this girl. She is a starlet artware. She, so she's a California pottery. I thought she was just so fancy. 
with her little gold trim and her little pillbox hat. I don't know if she was a toothbrush holder or possibly a lipstick. I, I kind of want to say lipstick. I got her. I liked her. And then I got this parrot. Now, I like this. I love the colors on it. It's made by whales, and I thought it was a really pretty, fun pair. It does have a little spots down here at the bottom where it was cold painted on, so the paint is not glazed on. So the paint will come off if you try to wash it. And what else did I get? A couple of these things I got at yard sales over the weekend. And I'll go ahead and show you. I got this um, butterfly sun catcher and a couple of these vintage books. Now, I have done pretty well with these manuals. This is from a Hercules diesel engine. I believe it's a tractor or just the engine block itself. Um, I haven't looked it up on eBay, but I have done really pretty well with this. It's dated 1949, and it's just an, an equipment manual for a diesel engine. And this is fun. This is the idea book from the S and H green stamps. So basically, you know, you save up your green stamps. It's from 1973. And you can save up to buy all of these fun things like China. I liked the kitchenware, but I thought, you know, you just using this as a reference book, Washington Forge nine piece set, of these knives. And it would have cost you two and a half or two and a quarter books of green stamps. Pyrex. How much would it cost? Pyrex baking set. It is the loaf dish, the cake dish, and the, the oblong baking dish. It was two and a one quarter books. Now I'd pick that over that any day if I had my choice. Look at that. Wow. Anyway, so I paid a dollar for this and this, and then I got this, and I'm keeping this. It's spook. And it's all about this little dog who belonged to this witch. And she didn't want a dog. She wanted a cat. And the poor puppy fell off the witch's broom, and they, a boy adopted him. But then the witch wanted him back. So it's a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole mystery. But I loved, I like the, the graphics on the inside, too. So I loved that. Look at the back. Ooh, spooky. Leftover spells. And then I picked this up too. It was a dollar, this Esquire waterproof dr dressing tin. Y'all know that I love advertisements and tin. Look at that dapper gentleman on there. I bet he has really polished boots on. And then I got this is a Scotch cellophane, cellophane tape. Now it's just the tape that goes into a tape dispenser, but it's never been opened. And I love the plaid. I collect these Scotch tins. So I thought this will be good to add to my collection. So this I am keeping. I also got more of these coffee mugs. That's good for a vintage camper. They are made by Sunfrost. So they're a different brand than the ones I sold last week. And I wish I had six, but I only have five. There was probably a blue one. And um, so I think that these are fun. They're just really lightweight, fun, vintage coffee mugs. Now my favorite thing that I got the entire weekend at a yard sale was this. This is a Miss Pris creamer. It's made by Lefton. I paid four dollars for her. She was in a box full of other bottles that I didn't really care about. So I asked if I could just buy this and she said yes. And then I said, how much? And she said, four dollars and I said sold now she doesn't have any chips on her anywhere she's in excellent condition this some of these have sold with this kind of a taller neck for around fifty dollars so that was a pretty good pretty good score I used to have these I collected them and I have since moved on and collect other things now so this was a great find these are so so hard to find because they are highly highly collectible. You know you're going to have a good day when you find a Miss Pris out in the wild. So that was what I bought yesterday. And I got my eyebrows waxed, so I'm a little puffy. But that's all right. I know you all don't care. Um, I am still working on getting things pulled. And one of the things that I had said, what did I do with them? That I was going to bring down to sell. If I can find them, I've laid them somewhere and I do not know where. Where did I lay them? Well, they were paper dolls. And I had showed them to you last week. 
and one of them has sold and the other ones I was going to show a couple this week and I was going to show a couple Thursday night for Patrick's sale and I showed you some of the things that are going to be that I'm going to sell in that earlier but where did you go paper dolls where did you go oh here they are okay I've got another antique book that I'm going to be selling and then some of these I'm not sure which ones but some of these paper dolls will be available tomorrow and some will be available Thursday the Buffy this one has sold Buffy has sold already put you up there Buffy but then I've got Dinah Shore and Strawberry Sue and then this puzzle I'm going to have in the sale on Wednesday. This little girl washing her dog. So I'm going to take these down so I can get them ready. Another thing I wanted to ask you guys, I have all of these albums that I'm trying to figure out what to do with. I mean, some of them are better than others. Like, I think that the cover art on this one is good. The Laugh-In. Isn't that um, Goldie Hawn? Yeah, so I thought the 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 cover art on these themselves and i have yogi bear collar me barbara is this barbara straw oh, there she is so some of these you know are better than others and like still by bill anderson i don't know who you are bill it has a little band of gold from a jack to a king, Reverend Mr. Black, and it's been so long, darling. I don't know who you are, Bill. I'm sure you were, were a wonderful singer. Uh, Barry Manilow, Tennessee Ernie Ford, Burt Baccarat, Donnie Osmond, Vinny! It's Vinny! Oh, hello, Vinny! Look at you sitting in a field full of wildflowers. Donnie Osmond time for us oh Vinny, i didn't know you could play the piano too you're so talented anyway i think that there was another donny osmond one let's see barry manilow lots of barry manilow oh there's marie osmond that's who i probably saw was marie osmond then now I some... let me see i'm going to get finished i'm going to sit down and finish getting the lists made for the sale um the items, because that's just the way I keep track of that. Um, another thing will be a couple little pieces made by my mom. I know that people, a lot of people like those. I'm going to try to sell this dandy uh, blue glass kerosene can. Uh, it's really cool, but I'm going to try to sell that. It's going to be kind of heavy, but we'll see. I'm trying to I'm trying to branch out a little bit and not be so scared to ship things. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I mean, I'm not scared to ship things, but just some things when I'm shipping, you know, 70 things in a day, it gets to be a little much. So I'm trying to make it a little bit easier for myself, but you know, still make some interesting things. I am going to list another quilt right here that I will be selling in the sale. So I'm going to bring that over. All right. I have everything ready for the sale tomorrow behind me. And it's, I got some good stuff. I got some stuff that I'm getting braver about showing as far as the weight and everything and the size and the breakability of it all. Uh, so I'm excited for tomorrow. I always look forward to Wednesday. I always like being able to spend the afternoon with you guys. And I've pulled 60 things to sell on YouTube and an extra 15 to sell on Instagram. So make sure if you don't have an Instagram page, you go ahead and sign up for one. It's free. And I like Instagram so much better than Facebook. You can follow me, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, and I do show 15 bonus items on Instagram immediately after the sale tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and get this video wrapped up so i can start editing it and get it up tonight for you to watch i hope that you enjoyed it if you did make sure that you give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys tomorrow bye